So this is just going to be a quick thing on the hit rater program I've been working on. This is not technically my code. Um, this was made about five years ago and uh, it was created by Admiral Giggles. Um, he used to be in Symphic and this is the old hit rater program and it's only good for BF4 and BF3 because uh, BF1 and BF5 have not been implemented yet and I will get to that in a minute but uh, essentially there is a link the first link in the description will be to this file on a Google Doc hopefully you guys will be able to open it hopefully I didn't botch it but you just need to extract it and then I use 7-zip I just like 7-zip better open it up file here it's GUI.exe open this up and you get this file or this window right here so what this is is basically you know say and you run this this gives you the percent chance of each bullet hitting so what are all of these values so this is the min spread so let me show you so first you want to go to Symphic um, and then you want to go to other titles and then you want to go to weapon charts just because it's easier. And maybe, uh, yeah. Comparison. Go to weapon comparison. That's probably the easiest. And then say you want to do the AN91. And you just want to do it. No attachments. No nothing. So you want to find the... Uh, let's see. So first you want to go to the ADS base min right here, which is 0.35. So that would go into this value right here, into the, this should say min spread, but it says spread. Um, I still have to work on this and refine it and fix it up and whatnot. So there's that one. Then you have max spread, which is 1.5. Then you have spread increase which is this one right here, 104. So you delete that, four, and then you go to recoil. This is the easy one. Now, remember, in this program, left is technically negative, so you have to keep the negative sign, and right is positive. So you have left, which is three, five, and right, which is also three, five. Wow. The aim, this is um, basically you're aiming center mass. You really don't want to mess with this. The distance, obviously, how far away you are. Iterations, the bigger this number, the more closely it'll represent what the actual percentages are. So if you add another zero, it'll take 10 times as long. Um, and then the burst length is how many times um, you shoot the gun. So if you want to do a five-round burst or a four round burst or etc so you have a five round burst this right here is the old uh distribution of bullets people used to think that bullets were spread evenly over the radius they're not they're spread evenly over the area i believe um there is a difference mathematically um don't worry about it just leave this unclicked it really doesn't change things too much as long as you keep this consistent it should be fine and then you hit run and you will notice that you're getting you know percentages this side is the side that matters the most and then this side is um I believe it's headshots i have to look through the code i've just been working on trying to just actually get this working let's see if this is actually yeah no i i would have i have to remember what what this side is for. I'd have to look through the files and remember what this side is for. But this is the side you're really looking for here. So this gives you a percentage chance for each bullet to hit. So on the fifth bullet at 50 meters, you have a 30% chance of hitting. So there's that. Notice that at 50 meters, your chance to hit is only 95%. It's not very good. So one thing you have to keep in mind with this is you notice there's no vertical recoil anywhere this assumes that there is no vertical recoil and there is a problem with that 
because the heavy barrel gets very much skewed towards one direction um, and the muzzle brake just makes guns worse because it doesn't actually do anything on this program since there's no vertical recoil and they're assuming that you can 100% compensate for vertical recoil which is just not possible because guess what your reaction times aren't 15 milliseconds they're just not that fast so that's kind of what this program is what I want to do with it is I want to continue to iterate on this and I would like to have you know say you have BF4 you click on BF4 and then you have drop down menus and whatnot um, I don't know how far we'll get with that just because I am not the greatest at C++ um, and I'll get into that a little bit later you know so, so you have BF4 you have BF1 BF5 etc and then hopefully all of that will get done and when BF6 comes out we can have a thing for BF6 and this will be a community tool um, the pro there is a hit rater out there for BF5 the thing is is that the people who made it they uh, they like to keep it as a tice uh, as a nice and close to their chest and not spread it around and keep it uh, in the community they'd rather hog it for themselves but hey I understand these things are not the easiest things to make so um, it's kind of their love child and they want to keep it that way and I understand that but they're being kind of stingy so basically you know you go to the Google Drive and then you download it from the Google Drive it's not going to show up because it's a weird file you just download and then this file will pop up and you just hit save and you have your hit rater and then you can extract the file and run it hopefully I think we'll find out um, so I've outlined some of the goals uh, the other thing that I would like is that if any of you guys actually know what the fuck they're doing with C++ and C Sharp, I could really use some help because I am not a programmer, not in the slightest. Um, I'm an engineer and I'm an aircraft mechanic, so not uh, not my forte. So I have also included the source files. Again, it's just a Google Drive save it obviously and then it should look something like this um, hit rater you know C++ and this this was compiled and made in 2000 and Visual Studio 2015 I believe but I think I've been working I've been working on it in 2017 but I think you could still use it in 2015 um, I was working on it in 2019, but it was just being a pain in the ass, so I just decided to try 2017, and that seemed to work a little bit better. Um, but I think you can get this to run in 2019. But, you know, if you want to give it a shot, it's got everything in here. This is, well, it won't look like this, but, um, you know, obviously I've been working on this a fair bit. Yeah, you know, it'll look like this, and you open up the solution file. Um, there are some things that you're going to need to do to get this to run. First off, this is only x64. Um, I think it this still works on debug, but I usually just use release. I, you can still run it on debug, I think. Um, let me try it real quick. Uh, for the static libraries, obviously you go down to properties, you go to C++, general... Um, you need so this VX library or VX lib you need to add that so obviously and it's in, it's included in the file so you don't have to download it again so it's not this one you have to go to the include select ok apply ok and then that should be good enough Hit start if you want to compile it just to make sure that it works. It should work, hopefully, otherwise that'd be kind of embarrassing. And there you go. There's uh, a whole bunch of errors and shit that I have no fucking clue. Um, I assume a lot of this has to do with how it was written and some of the weird things that have been done specifically with, you know, 
changing of variables and setting them equal to each other. Um, but I'm going to continue to try and work on this and see what happens. And hopefully by the time BF6 comes out, we will have a hit raider program for all of the other battlefields and we can start on BF6 and hopefully that'll be out fairly quickly. So quick update. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have been working on. I've just been trying to pump this out and it has been a pain in my ass. So any help would be much appreciated if you, you know, leave a comment or join the infernal discord i'm sure that this uh, eyesore which is the fucking awesome this is the greatest thing ever um it's probably the easiest way to get a in touch with me if you actually want to help um any help would be very much appreciated and obviously there's going to be zero money involved with this because nobody gives a shit but uh you know labor of love it's something to do it might be it might tickle someone's fancy uh, I know this used to be pretty big back in the day but nobody cares anymore about Battlefield it's kind of sad but DICE has kind of ruined their game anyway if you made it this far thanks I will talk to y'all later